Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners here. Uh, today I had anticipated doing an edit form, but actually I think it is going to be better for us to uh, create a, a way of us uh, reviewing the header. So what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, I'm going to go on to I'll just show, give you an idea of where we're heading with this. So we've already done this piece here, um, and what we are going to do now is create a little view here that allows us to have more detail on the item itself. So I am going to uh, go back onto the web uh, and I'm going to start inserting um, some objects. So the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, going to pop in, I think the first one will be a nice one will be inserting some media and going for an image and into that I will go to uh, get a sample image that's wonderful not sure where to place it at the moment if I'm honest but um, <clears throat> pop it down a little bit further there and we are going to use the the image from here so so we've popped the image in we've moved it around and we need to give it some data so what we're going to do is we are going to use the uh, gallery, uh, gallery one dot selected. So you didn't select anything, you get nothing at all. Uh, dot, and we are going to find our image item here. So here's our final project image. Uh, and we, we, do you know, this is the bit where you get into design and where, where's the best place for different things, but, um, let us go with let's just go with this for the moment because we can move it around anyway uh, I'm going to pop a label in because it's nice and easy to do and the text on there is going to be our project text so we're going to be um, gallery one dot selected dot um, now this should be I don't I can't remember what the name of the M um, I think it's project something or other um, so project brief that's not what I want project name okay test one two three and we're gonna make this a, a bit bigger so we get a size if you want to change the text size and we're gonna go to maybe 25 uh, test uh, 25 we're just gonna go all the way across because it gets a bit fussy when uh, when it doesn't um, and I'm gonna pop these two I'll probably pop them together and Oh, that doesn't work at all so these should be lining up never mind um, and I am going to put it in the middle of all that so get it home pop it in the center and uh, you know, I need to give it a slightly better background than what it's got at the moment but I can't think of a sensible one so I'm just going to go with uh, fill and then I'm just going to go with black uh, which is going to mean that my lettering will disappear and I will need to go to color to do the lettering color I think I've got a little bit of lag on the go there so yep because the color is got really properly confused so I'll wait for the uh, I'll wait for the internet to catch up several so caught up so I am going to go with white okay white 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 Good test one two three, um, and I'm going to pop them across a little bit. Ah, oh, that explains why they weren't lining up, because that's how you get them to line up. Um, and I am going to do my project. I'm going to pop a project brief in there. So I'm going to do insert, and we're going to go label, and we're going to go text, and we are going to do the project brief so text equals gallery one dot selected dot brief project brief in it goes so that's the reason we were doing this project I'm going to pop onto the border uh, get it to get solid and we give it a two um, and yeah that's nice enough um, this bit here you need to make sure if it's I need to check it's really needs we need to make sure that it's 
um, going to actually display these things correctly. So we may find that we actually need, although this is a label, it may be that we need to, no, it doesn't, should, should be okay. So I don't really like how it's presenting at the moment. So I may, may change my mind on that one. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so I went into the label, um, uh, the label tab here and I'm going to vertical align it. I want to go to the top. So the, this is my project brief. Um, yeah, so we can, we can fuss around and I'm going to right click. In fact, I can't right click on that. I'm going to right click on that copy, right click paste. That gives us another one. Let's move it across here. Um, so we had project brief. I think there was something else that we um, were working on as well. So project brief, project comments user. That's fine. And I don't think this that I'll worry too much about um, about um, uh, doing the teacher comments and so on. You know, that, it's just an opportunity really. Um, so I'll move this across here. Yeah, line them up. Okay, that's fine for the moment. So I think this is quite neat. Um, what I'm going to do is, as we are here, I'm going to demo um, a, a new item um, because, you know, just for a bit of clarity. So I'm going to go to the home icon. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go to the play. I'm going to go to create new project, project name, um, the uh, let's call it Marvel Comics Art. Project owner is myself. Um, date started. Okay, I'll put that as March the 7th, which is a bit weird because it's got to be now. I'll put the first. And I am going to put the T, no, not bother with the preacher, project brief, um, to copy uh, as best I can some Marvel figures. Um, and I am going to choose Wolverine as I quite like the films. Okay, and what we're going to do is we can see that we've got an image here and we are going to click the go button and in it's popped, that's great, don't worry about the fact that it's flipped it round um, because actually this is the right way around um, but once you get it onto an actual um, you know iPad etc it works fine so we hit the at the point at which we hit create new project you have a new project it's um, firing up to SharePoint as we speak and then when we go to review my projects we get to see another item now I'm so yeah, I've just snapped back actually. And um, if I go to review my projects, we'll probably find we're okay. But that is because there's a really important part of this, and that's this refresh project header. So what this is is down at, at the screen level. So if you kind of click on this, um, which is where you get to see your screens, and you can see this particular screen here, and you go to on visible. There are there are you can get to it this way by going to the by going to the screen all projects and you won't get to see the on visible um when you when you're looking anywhere else um it's it's something that is when the screen is visible so you click on there you go to the on visible and you hit uh, and you enter refresh project header essentially what you're saying is uh, please refresh this data set so that's nice what we've got is we can see this item here and if we click down here um, we can actually see uh, our other project now uh, one thing that's noticeable here is that uh, there's no sort order whatsoever 
so um, there's lots of ways of sorting it um, I think that what I'm going to do is um, use a sort sort by columns and um, project header um, and then you put a comma in and I've made a uh, I've made a mistake here so it's sort by columns it's always good to click on this because it's uh, it is case sensitive and we are going to sort it by the I'm going to go with ID actually um, I can go with created I'll go with created or probably date started and I'm going to go descending descending okay I have actually no idea which uh, order this is going to come out in but uh, we'll give it a go so okay so that just depends on the date that it started and I guess it makes it obvious that we need a date started um, uh, piece of text here so I'm going to go that label copy and paste and I'm going to go with paste again and in here we're going to pop um, the date started in fact I'm just going to put the date started and let you worry about the end the date end yourself so gallery select date started okay and uh, this is a tricky one because um because this is us date format so um i'll just look that up and so the way that works is you've got to wrap this in a text function so you're going to put text uh, open brackets and comma it is a bit peculiar but uh, you do the quotes dd mm yeah, yeah. In fact, I'm going to go with. Well, we'll see what it looks like to start with. Um, I prefer something like MMM um, because it's first of March, so on. And you can always go with DDD and pop another D in, and then that way it gives it Thursday, first of first of March, 2018. And obviously, you can do the same with the uh, date completed. Um, so. Um, it's starting to look nice now. You can kind of click on it, sort of, you know, get different things popping up. Um, so next time round, we're gonna need to. What we what we're gonna want is a gallery at the bottom. But in the the thing that we need to do before that is we need to um, we need to take some additional photos associated with that project. So. Uh, until next time, uh, please subscribe, please give me the thumbs up um, and um, see you next time. Cheers, bye.